What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. I was just out for a bike ride and was surprised when I came home to see an Obsidian 2 just sitting there waiting for me. So we're going to unbox it. All right, we got this thing on the table. We're just going to take it out of the box and give it a quick once over. There will be a review coming soon, but definitely got to play with it a bit before I can do a review. Oh, there we go. Let's see here. All right, and there it is. Oh, now that's interesting. It looks like there's Kwamba buttons on here. I thought it was gonna come with Sanwas. Now, if these are gravity buttons, I'd actually be pretty excited about that. Not much to the unboxing experience here, but wow, this is a heavy controller. It is weighty. <laughs> oh, these, these have gotta be gravity buttons. They are very quiet. Let me bring this up to the microphone so you can hear. Oh, maybe not. I don't know what those are. They do have the Kwamba on it, the sticker. That sticker is removable. Let's see if I can get one of those off. They're usually stuck on there pretty good. I don't have very long fingernails. There we go. Let me grab another Kwamba. All right, so this is another Kwamba button. This is a gravity. Oh, that's definitely quieter than this. This is a Sanwa. Whew, boy, I don't know what's in there. Interesting. So nice layout here. We got the joystick here. Uh, plenty of room over here. This is an acrylic top panel, it would appear. We got the PlayStation button, L3, Turbo, Share, Mute, R3. What is that button there? Not sure what that one is. Is that the touchpad? No, the touchpad's over here. Not sure what that one is. Let me look at the directions. All right. Let's see here. It is number seven options. Oh, okay. Options button. Of course. We got a uh, digital pad, left stick, right stick, PS5, PS4, PC and a tournament lockout switch, which the Drone 2 was missing, and I uh, I didn't like that about the Drone 2. We got a touchpad up here. Uh, we got an audio jack here, probably a headset for a microphone slash headset. Uh, let's take a look at the side here. You got the screws, I believe the cable's in here. So you unscrew this, and pop the cover off. And I believe the cable is kind of wrapped up in there. Let's see if we can't get that out of there. Yeah. That's relatively convenient. I don't believe this is a removable cable, sadly. Uh, but this is definitely a nicer organizer than most. I don't know how often people will actually use it though, because you gotta like unscrew it. So like, if you're out and about, are you really gonna unscrew two screws and then wrap your cable up and then screw everything back together? I don't know. Probably, personally, I'd probably just leave this cover off, lose it, <laughs> but at least you got somewhere to wrap your cable. Do wish this was a removable cable, honestly. Look at the bottom of it. Look at all of this rubber. Man, this thing ain't going nowhere. That is very tacky too. Doesn't cover quite to the edge, but man, it is a big rubber pad. And then of course we got the little access port for the joystick there. Uh, we won't take it apart right now for this unboxing, but I am very, very curious about these buttons because uh, it says in their marketing material, it comes with Sanwa buttons, but these have Kwamba stickers on them. Well, those might be Sanwa buttons, honestly. Let me compare them. This is the Hori Astro. This definitely has Sanwa buttons in it. Oh yeah, that's very similar. Those are probably Sanwa buttons. They just have the Kwamba sticker. They're either Sanwa buttons or they're very close to it. Interesting. All right. Well, lucky for me, the Street Fighter Beta or not the beta, the Street Fighter Six demo came out yesterday, so we'll be playing a little bit of that. Man, this thing is 
weighty. It feels very heavy. Uh, it's not that thick, though, so it should sit on your lap pretty low profile. Oh, I like this quite a bit. It is very black. <laughs> it is. Man, that is a really cool look. Just for a size comparison, here is the drone. Uh, basically, about two-thirds of the size of the obsidian. Let's see if I can move that over there. Listen to the sound difference. Big difference. Wow. Well, the first impressions are certainly good. Uh, right off the bat, sounds nice. Joystick feels good. I like the button layout a lot better than the drone, even though it's got a touchpad over here. It's not like right next to the action buttons. The joystick feels good. Uh, I'm not sure about this cable management. Oh, we should check out the other side, right? Now this is a weird little feature. You open this up and it has a bat top. Now that bat top is actually kind of look cool looking. Look at that. It's got kind of like a, a diamond cut top on it. That's kind of neat. Uh, but I have heard that you can use these to store extra buttons in. Uh, kind of a nice little feature there. So if a button breaks while you're out and about at a tournament or a local or at your friend's house, you got a spare button in there, which is kind of nice. This bat top is so cool that I want to use it. Uh, but you can put your ball top in here as well to store it. Uh, I don't know too many people who switch back and forward between bat and ball top. So I don't know how useful that actually is, but storing buttons in there seems useful, right? I don't know. Do you, does anybody do that? Do you switch between... Bat top and ball top on the same joystick? I have joysticks with bat top. Like a Korean lever. But I don't have any that I swap them in and out of. All right, guys. That's going to wrap this one up. Look forward to a full review of the Obsidian 2 coming very soon. Uh, I'm really excited. I can't wait for Street Fighter 6 to come out. <laughs> I am really excited for it. Got a new joystick. And I just want to play. Have a good one, guys. See you next time. Bye. Yeah.